Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna see how to play sound for our three weapons. So the assault rifle, the shotgun, and the sniper rifle. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do. So pick up the sniper rifle, I mean the assault rifle. So you can see that there is a different sound every time we are using this weapon. I'm gonna drop down on the ground, take the shotgun. Drop that on the floor and take the sniper rifle. So you can see now we have a different sound depending on which weapon we have in our hand. So we're gonna see exactly how to do this. Now we're gonna go to our guns folder and in each of our weapon, we're going to set up them so we can hear the sound when we're using them. So we're gonna go to the assault rifle. If you click here on the top, you should have access here on the detailed panels, all the functionality of this weapon. So for the sound, we're going to use the rifle B underscore fire Q. And we're going to make sure that we have ammunition in our gun. So the current clip will need a number in it. We're going to compile this and we're going to go to the shotgun. And same thing with the shotgun. We're going to go under weapon sound. And we're going to select our shotgun B underscore fire Q. And as well, we're going to make sure that we have ammunition in our current clip so I put six here but you can put the number that you want we're gonna compile this and I'm gonna go to the sniper rifle and same thing we're gonna select the sniper rifle B underscore fire Q and I'm gonna make sure that we do have bullets in our current ammo in clip so we're gonna go to our first person character right here on the fire input so when we're clicking we're firing and we're gonna go all the way down to the fire line trace. And here in the fire line trace, we're gonna call custom event. And this custom event will be all the function for our weapon that are optional. I'm gonna create a custom event and I'm gonna call this fire gun optional. I'm calling that optional because it's just gonna include the sound and the animation of our weapon. And technically to play a game, you don't really need the animation and the sound but you do if you want your your game to be good obviously but what i mean is it's not gonna break the game if you have no sound or no animation because everything else will still work you will be able to shoot and do damage with your weapon so the animation and the sound is really just to make it a little bit better to play i'm gonna put everything there so we're gonna go up there to our fire input and after our line trace, we're gonna call the fire gun. I'm gonna take the optional. And same thing in our automatic loop. After the line trace, we're gonna call as well the fire gun optional. So you can see now just by those two steps, you can see why we don't write the code here because we do have to write the code there as well. So what we're going to do now from that, we're just gonna search for play sound. I'm going to take the 2D, the 2D you have to remember as the sound that play everywhere in your weapon and at location it's only where your weapon is located. So we're going to take the weapon masterclass and from the weapon masterclass we're going to get our weapon sound right here. So we're going to search for weapon sound and we're going to get this sound and we're just going to plug it right up here and I'm going to compile this. So technically now, if we go in a game and we do play, if I take the sniper rifle, you have a sound. I'm gonna drop that pressing B and I'm gonna take the shotgun this time. So you can see I have two different sounds. I'm gonna take the assault rifle. So you have one sound and if you hold, same thing, you can see that everything is working for the sound, so it's really, really uh, straightforward. So you need to make sure that you do have bullets and that you have the sound that you want. Because everything now is set up in our blueprint here, so the Weapon Masterclass. So we only have to verify in our Weapon Masterclass when we want something to happen, so in this case, the sound. So that's pretty much how you put sound on your weapon. And I will catch you on uh, the next one.